How's it going everybody, Badger Pokemon here, and in this video we're going to be opening this product right here, the Arceus V-Star Premium Collection. Now this is an Amazon exclusive product, I've bought this off Amazon UK, and one thing immediately upon opening this, there was supposed to be a Cosmic Eclipse pack right here, but it is Vivid Voltage, so I don't know if the Cosmic Eclipse pack is something that's like US exclusive or not, but there you go. Still, the value of this box is pretty good as I turn it around to give you a good look at it. See what's like there. That's what it's including. And of course, the main reason why you would buy this is, I guess, if you want to build a Arceus V-Star deck. Which, in my opinion, is still a pretty good deck. Um, now, there are... It has been pushed out of the top 8. Like, it's not that good of a deck anymore, like the uh, Origin Form, Palkia V-Star and Giratina V-Star is just better. But I think this is, this is still a pretty good product. Mainly because... Now, this card is still pretty... Uh, pretty expensive. It is about 15 euros on card market still. Which, I also pulled this in my uh, mystery box opening. I didn't even know at the time that it was, like somewhat expensive as I try to get these cards out. There is the normal Arceus V, which of course you do need for this one. Now this is still a 15 euro card, which is kind of surprising to me, but I suppose that just goes to show that if you have a viable competitive deck, or competitive viable deck, then uh, the cards tend to get a pretty expensive. I think it's similar to the Mew VMAX, I've talked about this before, and also you get this this jumbo card of Arceus Vista, which I'm really fond of, as you know. I do love me the... the uh, jumbo cards. And here's the code card for that. Good luck to whoever gets that. Put the jumbo card aside and pull out our booster packs. So unfortunately... Oh yeah, one thing I have forgotten. Of course you get a... a nice big V-Star marker. It is plastic, but, you know, it's still pretty cool. Okay, so these are the booster packs that are included. You get two Astro Radiance, of course. Get three Lost Origin booster packs. You get two Evolving Skies, one Vivid Voltage, and one or two Rebel Clash. So, without further ado, let's try to rip into some of these packs, I suppose. Once again, since we don't have that many, I think I will be doing the card trick. I just have to figure out where the code card will be. Okay, this one is the white way around. There you go, okay. There's the code card. Let's do three to the front. The energy right here. Let's see what we can do. So we start out with a Riley, a Nuzleaf, Wind Up Arm, an Inkay, Basculin, Jinx, Makuhita, Bronzor, Fire Energy, a Vile Plume. We have something really, really shiny down here. This looks like an alternate art or a full art. Oh, Magnazone full art! Yo, first booster pack, and we're already getting the luck. Okay, that's a, that's a really, really nice pull. Right, hang on. I gotta fix my camera because some for some reason doesn't want to get in focus. So I'll be right back. Alright, and I'm back. Finally, finally focus. We're gonna save the Evolving Skies for last. Let's open an Astro Radiance pack. Yo, right off the back of Full Art, which is really, really cool. I saw something shiny. For a second, I have to be honest, for a second I thought, is it gonna be another, um... Origin form Dialga, or like maybe the, um, Champ alternate art? But no. I have to say it was just a Magnazone V, but it is still, still amazing. Any pull out of out of these big boxes is amazing. So let's talk about a bit uh, about the value you get in this. You get 10 booster packs. If you calculate the, the 10 booster packs at like 4 euros each, that's 40 euros already. The Arceus V-Star is like 15, this is like 2.5. So it's very close to the, to the 60 euros or dollars that you would pay for that. So the value is actually pretty good in this, I feel like. It's not as good as the um, Arceus figure collection, but that mainly uh, that's mainly because the figure collection does in fact include the um, the Legacy Cosmic Eclipse pack, which this one was supposed to. Like on the advertisement and everything else, 
you see the Cosmic Eclipse ring. Now, I've bought this off uh, Amazon UK, so I don't know if the Cosmic Eclipse one is like a um, an exclusive to the US or something. We'll see. I haven't seen anyone open this. Oh, I skipped the car of Metatite. Got a heaty up tile. I haven't seen anyone from the US open uh, one of these boxes. The the videos I've seen so far were all from people from the from the UK. So there's no real um, comparisons. Open the single vivid voltage pack. I I guess I we have to wait until someone from the US opens it. So that way we can prove like maybe the Cosmic Eclipse pack that is US exclusive, which would suck. Because I want some Cosmic Eclipse. I'm still, 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 you know, thinking about maybe opening a booster box, but the booster box is really expensive. And frankly, I, I don't know if I want to spend 500 euros or something on like a single booster box. That's like crazy. Yanma, the Skull, Ninkada, Eel Energy, and a Whimsicott. Okay. We've got some, we had some first pack magic, now it's kind of letting off. Let's open another Lost Origin and then move it on to one of the um, Evolving Skies packs, which I'm really excited about. Do you imagine if we pull like a Moonbryon or something? I would go crazy. I would go crazy for like a Moonbryon. Has been gotten really expensive. I have been planning to like buy all the... the um, Evolution alternate arts from Cosmic Eclipse, but they, they're so expensive, like most of them. And it's crazy. The other thing I wanted to talk about, I still don't know when I will upload this video. It might be just the day after, or it might be um, the week after, we'll see. Oh nice, we've got a Roserade! Very, very cool. Got an energy. We got this. Which I cannot pronounce for the for the love of me. That's a nice Roserade. I love this. Love the Trainer Gallery cards. So the other thing I wanted to talk about is there have been some leaks for like not only the upcoming set like Silver Tempest, there also have been leaks for like the the high class uh, set. There we go. Finally, it wants to open. There also have been leaks for the high class set, which supposedly gets released. Like, uh, early next year? A bit after, um... What should we call it? After Silver Tempest. I don't know if I would guess, like, maybe January, but maybe a bit later. So, like, similar to, to Shining Fates, like a special pack, where all the cards from V-Star Universe will be included. And I am not gonna show any pictures. I don't want to mention which cards I have seen. Only one. I'm only gonna mention one card. But that is because uh, that Pokémon is my favorite, as we put a cool Lilligant. There has been a, a Mew was leaked from like a trainer gallery. The symbol on the bottom wasn't as TG. Let me just show you right here. As you can see, there is TG02 out of 30, which means trainer gallery. In that set is called GG, whatever that stands for, and there's like 70 of them. So, that implies there is a subset with like 70 cards. And Mew is one of them, but that's all I'm gonna mention. I feel like these leaks, while, you know, some people find them cool, I, I don't really know what to think of them. I feel like the cards should just be revealed when you're unboxing them. That way you can enjoy them much more and all the artists that worked super hard on them don't get like their, I don't wanna say work ruined, but I, I don't think that's how they imagined their card would be revealed, you know, from a leak. Nice, Hizuian League End. Really cool. We've only got three booster packs left. Only have gotten one pull so far, but hey, you know, let's open the Riddle Clash, which is the least exciting out of these, in my opinion. Because the only real good card, or the only card I want to pull out of here, would be the, the Rainbow Boss's Orders. That's the card I am missing. Then we can pull up Milo. We've got a Shuckle. So yeah, the leaks, I think, I mean, it's, it's, ugh, I don't know what to call them. I don't want to call them they're stupid and everything because while I don't approve of these leaks, at least they still show us the, the Pokemon company or 
the the artworks that are shown in those leaks look absolutely stunning don't get me wrong but that's not the way they should be revealed eh but maybe that's just my opinion just rambling on about the stuff that's going on right now as i've said earlier i still don't know when i want to release this video might just be the day after I've already got the Japanese booster box opening that I had planned, already recorded and uploaded. Let's do it like this. Colores experiment. But we'll see. It'll always be a Wednesday. I'll try to, to always upload a video on Wednesday. And then sometimes there might be a, a shorts video on Saturday in addition. But not always. And a spirit tomb. Really only the one pull. Well, two pulls. We've got the Roserade. Maybe we can redeem ourselves with this with this final evolving skies pack. Maybe we can redeem ourselves. The final Final Evolving Skies pack. Let's see what we can do here. So here you go, there's the code card. Let's do three to the front. Energy right here. And let's see what we can do. Pyroar, Ursaring, Swoobat, Zorora, Psyduck, Rufflet, Rousey, Lebe, Scraggy, a Water Energy, and what's it gonna be? Ah, uh, a non-holographic Talonflame. Okay, at least we've got one pull, you know, can't, can't be too mad about this. We've got a really, really cool looking Magnezone. And we've also got a Roserade, both from Lost Origin. Unsurprised, or surprisingly to me, Lost Origin gave us the best pulls, which I've heard of a lot of people that Lost Origin's pull rates are atrocious. So that is really cool. But anyways, that has been the opening of, or my opening of the Arceus V Premium Collection. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, then a like would be appreciated. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you really love the content and stay tuned for more in the future. Thank you for watching. Peace, peace.